those uh, testimonies and those specials, prepare this for the preaching of God's word. Amen. 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 All right, let's all stand up, please. Let's all stand up, please. And uh, now we will proceed to the most important part of our service, which I believe will be a great blessing for us. And of course, tayo po ay nasa series of blessing. By the way, bago ko po makalimutan, meron po tayong additional first time visitor po dito. So as of this time, we have seven first time visitors. Kasama po natin si uh, uh, Sir June Pabellion. Bisita po ni Ma'am Jennifer Quinones, Sir June. Yan, nandito sa taas. Walakpakan po natin. Amen. Welcome po. Amen. 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 So we are now on the series of lesson about the knowledge of God. And it's very important. If there's something that we have to grow on, at dapat po natin patuloy na maging, uh, uh, patuloy po tayong aware, patuloy po tayong uh, educated pagdating sa salita na Diyos, is what the Word of God is giving about regarding God's knowledge. It is very important, mga kapatid. And uh, from the last na tinuro sa atin ating mahal na pastor, napakaganda po nung topic po natin. Amen. Amen. And uh, it's always a great blessing, mga kapatid, na patuloy na binibigay ng Panginoon, na binibigay ng Diyos ang wisdom niya sa ating mahal na pastor so that alam lang ating mahal na pastor kung ano yung dapat na tayo maging familiar using in the light of God's word, saan tayo dapat maging familiar para patuloy pa tayong lumago sa pagkakilala natin sa Diyos at patuloy pa tayong maging malapit sa Panginoon. Amen. All right, open your Bibles, please. Let's read first Hosea chapter 4, verse number 6. Binasa po ito ng ating mahal na pastor. Dalawang passage po ang babasahin po natin. But later, ito lang po muna babasahin po natin ngayon. And then, magtutuloy po tuloy po tayo sa atin pong uh, uh, pag-aaral ng salita ng Diyos. Hosea chapter 4, verse number 6. All right? Maingay talaga yung mga Bibles kapag hindi alam mo na sa <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Maingay yung mga pages eh. Ang kukunat pa minsan eh. Magkakadikit pa eh. <laughs> Lalo na pag bago yung Bible. Talaga namang uh, ang sarap display pero ang hirap buklatin. <laughs> Hosea chapter 4 verse number 6. Are you there? Amen. Yeah. Alright. The Bible says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. Let me read verse number 7. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change their glory into shame. Let's close our eyes, let's bow our heads, let's pray. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, O God, for once again allowing us to attend our midweek service, O God. Salamat mo, Panginoon, sa pagkakataon po na ito. Inyo po kaming nasumpungan sa loob na inyo pong bahay-sambahan. Salamat sa buhay na ipinagkalob niyo po sa amin sa araw po na ito. Na ngayon ay muli na naman po namin mga gamit at ang gamit, Panginoon, para itaas sa inyong pangalan at magbigay ng kapurihan po sa inyo. Salamat, Panginoon, sa mga bisita na kasama po namin ngayong gabi po na ito. Salamat din po, Diyos, at uh, uh, sa music that we have, O oh God, for uh, this evening. And uh, as we go to the studying your word, O oh God, please continue to impart to us your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Holy Spirit, please continue to flow through us and uh, help us to understand this, O oh God, uh, your way, O oh God, and not our way. We cannot understand your word without your guidance. Please be with us and continue to use me, O oh God. This is not my message. This is your message. We need this message, O oh God, for our continual growth on our relationship with you and also on our Christ, uh, uh, for our growth, O oh God, as we uh, continue, to, uh, 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 continue to be a blessing, O oh God, to our brethren, to our area families, and to our church family. Once again, O oh God, all the glory belongs to you. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness and forgive us on all our sins. And please sustain my voice as well, O oh God, and give us a good audio system and also a strong internet connection so that it will not affect our uh, stations worldwide and nationwide, O oh God. All the glory belongs to you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, please be seated. Last week po ay napakaganda na pinag-usapan po natin mula sa ating mahal na pastor using this passage, brethren. It is a very clear message. Actually, it is a very clear message 
reading the passage na binasa po natin kanina, o binasa ko po sa inyo kanina, napakaliwanag mga kapatid, nang ini-emphasize ng Panginoon regarding the importance of His knowledge in our life. I believe you will agree with that. Amen. Amen. Are we ready for the preaching? Amen. Alright? Again, like I said, napaka, napakaliwanag na sinasabi ng Book of Hosea chapter 4, verse number 6. At ito ay magbibigay sa atin ng maliwanag na uh, kung ano yung gustong ipahayag ng Diyos sa buhay po natin, gaano kahalaga yung knowledge ng Diyos sa buhay po natin. Because sabi ko nga po sa inyo, the world has its own knowledge on, on, uh, no, on uh, uh, how to live their life. Pero mga kapatid, let me remind first each one of us that we do not have the same kind of life na meron po sila. Do you believe that? Amen. Kayo mga young people, do you believe that? Amen. Alright, the same thing with us adults, do we believe that? Amen. Amen. Alright, so again, like I said, iba ang buhay nila sa buhay po natin. We're living a life that is imparted to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. That's why we have this what we call Christian life. Inuulit ko po, kaya tayo naiiba sa kanila because we have this what we call Christian life. They have their own definition of living the Christian life, but our definition of, or our way of living the Christian life is only defined through the Word of God. Amen. You see, dito natin kinukuha sa salita ng Diyos. Ang pundasyon ay sa salita ng Diyos. Hindi, hindi nanggagaling sa anumang kuro-kuro ng tao. You see, and going to our position, brethren, we are blessed. Being blessed by receiving the knowledge of God, ay napaka ano po ito eh. Napaka kumbaga, this is very uplifting. Talagang encouraging, mga kapatid. And knowing that we are a part, God put us in a church na kung saan maliwanag na naihahayag sa atin yung salita ng Diyos, maliwanag na pinapahayag sa atin all about the knowledge of God, it is a great blessing, brethren, to be in this position. Amen. Alam ko ang bawat isa po sa atin, masaya na malaman po yan that we are receiving the knowledge of God. It is very uplifting. It can be very happy, very happy. But also, we have to understand the danger of rejecting the knowledge of God. Again, inuulit ko mga kapatid. We have to understand as well the danger of rejecting the knowledge of God. Kaya nga mga kapatid, sa panahon po natin ngayon, it is very important. Again, inungulit ko po, napakahalaga. Alright? Napakahalaga mga kapatid na tayo ay talagang maging maliwanag sa atin yung ating present condition as individual member of our church regarding this matter. It's because Satan might deceive us na nasa loob tayo ng auditorium but we are unaware na nare-reject na pala natin yung knowledge ng Diyos. You see, again, this is, this is very important, mga kapatid. Sabi ko nga po sa inyo, eh, kung si Adan at si Eva going back to the very foundation, and dun nga, kung si Adan nga at si Eva, nilikha na ng Diyos, kasama ng unang nakasataong nakasama ng Diyos, na-reject man nila yung knowledge ng Diyos, how much more tayo? You see that? Na nandito na tayo sa ganitong kalagayan. It's very important. Maaaring sabihin natin, pwede bang mangyari? You see, pwede bang mangyari being in a church? Now, mga batid, this is a church. As a CSI family, andyan yung mga missions po natin. Pwede ba bang mangyari sa atin na dumating tayo sa pagkakataon na nare-reject natin yung knowledge ng Diyos? Pwede ba kayang mangyari yun? Yes, it could happen. It could, brethren, because we have to rem- we have to uh, we have to remember kung sino yung na destroy sa sinasabi ng book of Hosea chapter four verse number six. Going back to the passage, just go back to the passage, brethren. Look at your Bible. Ano sabi po ng Biblia? Ano sabi po ng Biblia? Sabi ng Bible, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Maliwanag po yung sinabi ng Biblia. Sino daw yung destroyed by lacking knowledge? Ano yung first two words in verse number 6? Come on, read it with me. Ano sabi ng Bible? My people. You see? My people. Ang nagsasalita po dito ay ang Diyos. Sabi ng Diyos, My people. 
He's not talking about his enemy. He's talking about his own people. My people. Mga kapatid, hindi naman lingit sa ating kalaman. And we can shout aloud, Amen, that we are blessed, that we belong to the people of God. Amen. 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 We belong to the people of God. We are God's people. Pero sabi ko nga po sa inyo, kailangan maunawaan natin that even God's people can reject the knowledge of God. It can happen to any people of God, to any individual people of God. You see, it could happen to the people of God na ano, ma-reject in knowledge ng Diyos. Sabi ng Biblia, my people are destroyed. You see, maliwanag yan ha, sa Bible yung pinag-uusapan po natin. My people are destroyed for what? Lack of knowledge. Kailangan po natin ilagay sa isipan natin that we are a blessed recipient of God's knowledge but also, also, we can be a shameful victim by unawaringly rejecting the knowledge of God. Bakit naging shameful victim from my blessed recipient? Dahil sabi sa verse number 7, I will change their glory into shame. And brethren, ito po para ma-relay natin yung sarili po natin. We are a church family. We are talking here as a church family. Tayo po yung nag-uusap ngayon as a church family para ma-relate natin yung sarili po natin sa nasa Biblia, mga kapatid. We, we, we can be grateful and we are always grateful to God that the glory, I mean, every glory na tinatanggap ng ating po simbahan is all by the glory of God. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Pero sabi mo ng Biblia, dito sa verse number 7, Therefore, will I change their glory into shame. Nangyari po ito sa kanyang mga tao during this time, it also can happen to us that our glory can be turned into shame. Kaya nga sabi ko po sa inyo kanina, being a blessed recipient of God's knowledge, we can also be a shameful victim by rejecting God's knowledge. You see, in the passage, maliwanag po yan, mga kapatid. Ang sinasabi po ng Biblia, sino po yung mga matiturn yung glory and the shame? Yung nag-reject ng knowledge. Sino yung nag-reject ng knowledge? Yung tao ng Diyos. Ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito ay tao ng Diyos. Hindi po natin ngayon pinag-uusapan, mga kapatid, ang mga unbelievers. We are talking about the saved people. We are talking about the chosen people of God. You see, this is why we have to be careful as we continue, as we keep on receiving the knowledge of God. Mga kapatid, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon is a self-checking, self-individual checking sa bawat isa po sa atin kung kamusta na po natin tinatanggap or kamusta po ba ang pagtanggap natin sa knowledge ng Diyos. It is very important. Sabi ko nga po, napakaganda ng mensahe last Wednesday. Kung matatandaan niyo po yung mensahe ng ating mahal na pastor, last Wednesday, Crystal clear, mga kapatid. Napakaganda na sinasabi po doon. Ngayon, mga kapatid, kaya ko po ito gustong ibigay po sa atin at muli nating balikan at sariwain sa ating mga sarili yung danger of rejecting the knowledge of God. Because what happened to the people of God back then can also happen to His people today. You see, we can also be we can also be in a position that we are rejecting the knowledge of God even though we are inside this auditorium tonight. Kaya nga sabi ko po sa inyo, individual checking po ito. All right? Dagdagan po natin ang passage sa pag-uusapan po natin. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse number 7. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse number 7. Are you there? Amen. Sa amin po ng Biblia, ever learning. Maliwanag po yan. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Ano po may ita natin sa verse po na ito, mga kapatid? Now, listen to this. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 7, brethren, clearly emphasizes that there are people, sa, sa talata po na binasa po natin, that there are people who, who, who has the opportunity to learn at all times, but they were never able to grow in the knowledge of truth. May mga tao po dito that they were able to learn at all times,
all times the knowledge of God. But, like I said, they were never able to grow in the knowledge of truth. Now, kung uunawain po natin kung sino yung tinutukoy ng mga tao dito, just read chapter, uh, verse number 1 hanggang verse number 6. You will understand this here, brethren, that these people, they have the similarity in nature with what had happened doon po sa book of Hosea. Tinan niyo po, abasahin po natin. Sino po yung, sino po yung sinasabi sa verse number 7 that ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Binanggit po dito sa verse number 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Ito na po sinabi verse number 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pressure, pleasures more than lovers of God, having the form of godliness but denying the power thereof. From such, turn away. Sabi sa verse 6, For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lust. Na nakita po natin sinasabi po dito. Most of the time, na-address natin at nailalagay natin sa isipan natin na yung mga naka-address dito ay unsaved. But brethren, if we're going to accept the reality of what's happening today, these characteristics right here can be found inside the building. These characteristics from verse number 2 down to verse number 6 can be found in the church. <laughs> okay, I hope we're following. Amen. You see? High-minded. Boasters. Marami po sinasabi po dito. Now, kaya ko po sinasabi, these people, they have the form of godliness but denying the power thereof. You see, sayabi po ng Biblia. Now verse number 7, binanggit po dito, they were able to come. They were they were learning. They were ever learning but they were never never able to come to the knowledge of truth. The same thing mga kapatid. Yung nature po na ito, going back to the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse number 1 and verse number 2. Tingnan po natin. Lagyan niyo po ng marker para mabilis po ninyong bang, uh, buklatin. Sayin mo ng Biblia verse number 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, no mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Verse number 2. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Now, kung titignan niyo po, yung nature po na sinasabi dito sa verse number 2, the same thing na makikita at masusubungan din natin sa chapter 3, verses 2 to 6, na makikita natin sa book of 2 Timothy. The same nature. You see that? At sino po yung tinutukoy po dito sa book of Hosea na nagkakaroon ng ganitong problema? The people of God. You see, bakit po sila dumating sa ganito po problema? It's because of the reason na hindi na sila naging aware sa kanilang situation that they are already rejecting the knowledge of God. See mga kapatid, we are talking about God's people here. We are God's people here. Yung sinasabi po ng Biblia na ever learning. If we're going to define that, pro, that, that, that text right there, brethren, the word ever learning there is to learn at all times. Mga kapatid, kung titingnan po natin ang maigi, we are already blessed to be in a church that all the time we are learning the knowledge of God. Do you agree with that? Amen. Hindi naman po siguro tayo tatanggi sa bagay po na yan na halos araw-araw na po. Hindi na halos araw-araw na pag-aaralan natin ang knowledge ng Diyos. 
You see, araw-araw tinatanggap natin ang knowledge and Diyos. But again, sabi ko nga mga patid, we have to be sure that when we receive and when we are learning the knowledge of God, dapat masiguro natin na sinabi po ng Bible, we will also be able to come to the knowledge of truth. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, sinabi po dyan sa verse number 7, never able to come means never able to grow. You see? Never able to grow. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid, wala pong problema sa tayo ay nag-aaral. Pero pwedeng dumating sa pagkakataon ng buhay natin bilang isang krisyano na nag-aaral tayo patungkol sa knowledge ng Diyos pero hindi tayo lumalago sa knowledge ng Diyos. And brethren, it is very important, mga young people, mula sa young people, down to, the, down to the adults, it is very important that we check ourselves tonight. Are we growing in the knowledge of God? Are we growing in the knowledge of God? Mga kapatid, they too are learning the knowledge of God. Nag-aaral din sila, natututo din sila. Ba ang problema, may dumarating sa punto ng buhay nila na hindi sila lumalago. You see, they were never able to come to the knowledge of what? Truth. Brethren, the knowledge of God is the knowledge of truth. You see, that's the best thing about the knowledge of God. There's no lies, walang kasinungalingan, kundi puro katotohanan ang knowledge ng Diyos. You see, now the danger, brethren, na nangyari po dito is that they are the danger of not taking the knowledge of God seriously is that from as we are learning from it, ang nagiging problema, babagsak tayo dun sa sin of rejection. Let's go back to Hosea chapter 4. Hosea chapter 4, going back to Hosea chapter 4, sabi po ng Biblia, verse number 6, unawain po natin mati, maigi ito. Sabi po ng Bible, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Na pwede po tayo mag-post dyan sa sabihin natin, oh, kaya naman sila na-destroy because sila ay nagkulang. They lack of knowledge. You know kung bakit po sila nagkulang? As you can notice, the punctuation mark that's being used on that passage, it's a colon. Na ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, may describe po yung kanilang pagiging lack of knowledge. Bakit sila naging lack of knowledge? Dahil po dun sa kasunod na sinasabi. Because... Thou has rejected knowledge. Hindi po natin pwedeng ma-accuse ang people, ang tao ng Diyos. These people of God, we can never excuse na sila ay lack ng na sila ay hindi inaabot ng knowledge ng Diyos. Why? There's a prophet in their time. God is using him. God has his own mouthpiece na ginagamit to reach His people para ma-feed sila ng knowledge ng Diyos. Pero they still lack knowledge. Why? Because they reject knowledge. Fast forward in our time, brethren. Let's have our own checking, mga kapatid. Meron tayong pastor na pinagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoon. By the grace of God, we know what kind of pastor we have. We have, Amen. Alam natin kung anong pastor ang pinagkaloob sa atin ng Diyos. And we know that by the great kanina, sabi nga sa testimony, natutuwa po ako sa testimony, na sinasabi doon mga kapatid, na naririnig at natututunan natin sa ating mall na pastor, that ignorance of the Word of God is ignorance of God. Means ignorance of the knowledge of God is ignorance of God. Yan po ay natututunan natin sa ating mahal na pastor. The knowledge of God is being fed to us by the man of God na inalagay po sa atin. Kaya nga hindi tayo makatanggi na hindi naman naituro sa amin yun eh. Hindi rin magagawa ng mga Israelites ay wala namang nasabi sa amin yung Panginoon eh. Because lahat ng gustong iparating ng Diyos sa kanyang tao, dinadaan niya sa kanyang mouthpiece. Lahat ng gustong iparating sa atin ng Diyos, dinadaan sa atin ng Diyos sa pamagitan ng ating mahal na pastor. Kaya nga we cannot deny the truth na lahat ng dapat na matutunan natin at malaman natin regarding the knowledge of God, praise the Lord, nakakarating po sa atin. Amen. Nakakarating po yan sa atin. Pero mga kapatid, sabi ng Biblia, pagamat may nakakarating sa kanila, they still lack knowledge. You know why? Because they reject the knowledge. Ibig sabihin, mga kapatid, pwedeng may nakakarating sa atin, pero pwede pa rin mag tayo sa knowledge because we reject kung ano yung pinaparating. 
<laughs> Are you still following? Amen. Pwede nang mangyari sa atin that we became lack of knowledge. Bakit? Wala ba tinuro sa inyo ganyan? Meron. Bakit lack of knowledge ka? Kasi yung tinuro na yun na lack, kung saan tayo lacking, nireject natin. Ulitin ko po, yung tinuro sa atin kung saan tayo lacking, nireject natin. Kaya we lack that knowledge because when that knowledge was being given to us, we rejected it. Balik tayo sa preaching ni Pastor last Wednesday. What's the sin? Sin of omission. No, natandaan niyo po ba yun, mga kapatid? I hope natatandaan natin yun, mga kapatid. Kaya mga kapatid, it's very important talaga na nare-review natin yung mga preachings ng ating mahal na pastor. You see, the reason kung bakit yan ina-upload sa social media, hindi para ipahayag sa mundo na may ganito kaming klaseng preaching, no? It's for our own benefit para may mababalikan tayo. You see? Now, going back to our, to our, uh, to our topic. You see? That's the problem, mga kapatid. The sin of omission. Kung bakit natin maalala, kung bakit ko binalik yung sinabi ni Pastor, because yung pagre-reject natin, we are omitting something from the knowledge of God. Lalong-lalo na, pag hindi natin kaya tanggapin kung ano yung nasa kaisipan ng Diyos. Amen! You see, let's be honest with this, brethren, because sabi ko nga po sa inyo, ang iniiwasan natin ay mangyari sa atin yung nasa 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 7, that ever learning... Learning at all times, but never able to grow in the knowledge of truth. Yan yung iniiwasan natin. Pwede bang mangyari sa atin? Pwede, mga kapatid. If we're going to reject the knowledge of God, how are we rejecting the knowledge of God? Because of the sin of omission. Nag-o-omit tayo eh. Nagtatanggal tayo, nagbabawas tayo kung ano yung nasa knowledge ng Diyos. Binabawasan natin para mailusot natin yung gusto nating ilusot sa pamumuhay natin bilang isang Kristiyano. We cannot deny the truth, brethren, na dumarating tayo sa pagkakataon ng buhay natin na pagka hindi na yung gusto natin ang nasusunod at may sinabi na sa pulpito mula sa ating mahal na pastor, ang Panginoon. We're omitting something. If I'm not mistaken, pinaalala ni Pastor yung pagdidisiplina sa mga bata. Isa po yun. Sa panahon natin ngayon, marami nag-uumit ng biblical discipline. That's why a lot of people today lacks knowledge on biblical discipline. You see, kaya ano nangyayari? They're rejecting biblical discipline. Saan nagsimula? By omitting biblical discipline. Kaya ano nangyayari sa pamilya nila? Their kids are destroyed. Kayo mag-iisip po tayo bakit may mga may mga anak, may mga anak sa isang pamilya, nagsisimba naman yan, ba't nangyari yung ganito, ba't nangyari ganyan? Lack of knowledge. Bakit lack of knowledge? Because we omitted something. Because of that omission ng nasa part ng knowledge ng Diyos, hindi natin aware, hindi na tayo naging aware, na re-reject nga pala natin yung knowledge ng Diyos. That's the danger, brethren. That's our problem. Ito po ang watch worse. Para mo maunawaan po natin yung danger of rejecting the knowledge of God. Because from that sin of rejection, we are committing apostasy. Alam niyo po ba kung anong apostasy? Let me define to you what's apostasy. It's an act of refusing to continue to follow, obey, or recognize. In other words, apostasy is also defection. Pag pinag-usapan po natin yung defection, it is a conscious, conscious abandonment of allegiance or duty to a person, to a cause, or to a doctrine. Yan po ang apostasy. In other words, conscious ka. Hindi ka ignorante na iniwasan mo at hindi mo tinanggap yung knowledge na yun. In other words, hindi ka, hindi, you are conscious, aware ka na inabando mo na or you defected that knowledge of God regarding sa buhay po natin. Hindi birong bagay ito mga kapatid. This is not anymore ignorance. You are already conscious. Yan po ang nakakalungkot mga kapatid. Kung sa, po, sa panahon po natin ngayon, alam na natin we are learning at all times. Pero the reason why we were never able to grow It's because consciously, we rejected it. 
Okay pa sana mga kapatid, kaya nga po hindi natin tinandamay sa pagkakataon na ito, yung mga unsaved. Because most of them are ignorant sa salita ng Diyos. The worst part is that we are not ignorant. Do you believe that? Amen. We are not young people. You are not anymore ignorant. Ang ganda ng tinuro kanina ni Pastor Jeder sa Baptist Lunch, you are not anymore ignorant of God's knowledge. Fathers, mothers, every time we have the Baptist on Tuesday and Friday episode, every time we have our preaching in the morning and about the family series of lesson of family, we are not ignorant. That's why it's very important na siyasatin natin ang sarili natin sa mga oras po na ito, sa gabing ito. Baka we are consciously rejecting the Word of God. We are consciously rejecting what? The knowledge of God. Sabi ko nga kanina, paano ba natin makukuha ang knowledge ng Diyos? Nandito po ang Biblia. You see, from the Bible, it is openly revealed to us. Nireveal na sa atin ng Diyos ang kanyang kaisipan. Ipinapaliwanag sa atin niya ng man of God, ng ating mahal na pasong na ibinigay sa atin ng Diyos. In other words, natututo tayo. Pero kung bakit hindi tayo dumarating, we have to accept the truth, brethren, na kung bakit hindi tayo dumarating sa punto ng paglago regarding the knowledge of God, it's because we are rejecting the knowledge of God. You see, I don't know, mga kapatid, kung sino sa atin, kung hindi natin alam kung sino sa atin ang gumagawa niyan, but God knows. Maring sabihin natin, ah, hindi ko naman nire-reject yan eh. Again, sabi ni Pastor, last Wednesday, the sin is the omission. Sa ating mga parents, binigay na illustration. Binigay na illustration ang biblical discipline. If we omitted biblical discipline, we are omitting God's knowledge how to raise our children. Kaya huwag tayong magtataka why the children are being destroyed. Why? Because they lack knowledge. Why they lack knowledge? Because someone omitted something. I hope we're following, brethren. This is a danger. Hindi lamang po ito nag-lead sa isang kasalanan. From the sin of rejection, nag-lead ito sa sin of omission. And because of the sin of omission, dadalhin tayo sa sin of apostasy. Mga kapatid, ang gumagawa ng sin of apostasy, lalo na during the times of the persecution, yan yung mga tumatalikod sa pananampalataya sa Diyos. Kung naiintindihan po natin yung kasalanan yan, unaware, they are aware, they are aware sa kanilang ginagawang decision na talikuran nila ang Panginoong Isokristo. That is apostasy. At doon mga kapatid, dahil dadalhin ng kasalanan of rejecting the knowledge of God. And brethren, napakadelikado po niyan. You know why? Dahil sabi mo ng Biblia, Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 10, wala pong mahirap intindihin sa pinag-uusapan natin ngayon, mga kapatid. This is a one great truth message. Hebrews chapter 10, verse number 26. Are you still following? Amen. Hebrews chapter 10, verse number 26. Anong sabi po ng Bible? For if we sin willfully, After that we have received the what? Knowledge of the? Of the truth. There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Naitindihan po po natin yan. Sabi ng Biblia, There remaineth no more sacrifice for sins. Bakit? Because sabi po ng Biblia, After that we have received the knowledge of truth. Naway naiintindihan natin ito mga kapatid. You see, naway maintindihan natin ito at masiyasat natin sa ating mga masiyasat natin sa ating mga sarili. Huwag natin muna tingnan kayong mga kayong mga young people, huwag niyo muna tingnan na inyong mga magulang sa atin ang bawat isa po sa atin. Yun. Let's check ourselves individually. Sabi ng Biblia, after receiving the knowledge of truth, are we still rejecting the knowledge of God? That's the point here. After receiving the knowledge of truth, they still choose to sin willfully and that is willfully rejecting the knowledge of God. Ano sabi ng Biblia? There remaineth no more sacrifice. Mga kapatid, hindi po biro yan. 
Delikadong bagay po ito, mga kapatid. Going back to the book of Hosea. Anong sabi sa verse number 7, chapter 4? As they were increased. Oh, let me let me read the last part of verse number 6. Sinabi niyan, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that there that thou shalt be no priest to me. Ito po sabi dito. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Nakita niyo po ba mga kapatid? Yung layo ng kapalit. At sabi po sa verse number 7, As they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore, will I change their glory into shame. I will change their glory into shame. Sabi ko nga po sa bawat isa sa atin kanina, mga kapatid, biyaya ng Panginoon that God's glory is being manifested in our church as a church family. Amen. We are so blessed. Biyaya ng Diyos, mga kapatid, na ang kadakilaan ng Diyos, ang kagandahan at kabutihan ng Diyos as isisilayan sa atin pong simbahan. And as members of this church individually, as members of the CSI family, mga kapatid, nakikita ng mundo kung anong merong ganda ang Diyos na walang bayad ng anumang kapulitikahan, walang bayad ng anumang mansya ng kung ano-anong bagay. Plainly, it's all about the glory of God. And it's being manifested in our church. Kung saan tayo nabibilang, including the missions. Pero mga kapatid, kung meron po sa atin that we're going to choose to reject the knowledge of God, the glory will be turned into shame. Sabi ko nga po mga kapatid, this is something na hindi po natin gugustuhin mangyari sa buhay po natin. This is something na hindi natin gugustuhin mangyari para sa pamilya po natin. Mga kapatid, looking back, Looking back to our, or looking to our condition today, brethren, sabi ko po sa inyo, we are blessed for this knowledge of God. Never, brethren, let's always encourage one another never to try to commit sin by omitting God's word where, the, where God's knowledge is being manifested. Pag nag-omit kasi tayo dito, mga kapatid, nagbawas tayo dito. Nagbabawas din tayo sa knowledge ng Diyos na ipinaparating sa atin. This is all, this contains the knowledge of God. Pag nagbawas tayo dito, binabawasan din natin yung knowledge ng Diyos na pinaparating niya sa atin. Kaya nga sabi ko po sa inyo kanina, time will come na pag dumating ang problema, ano kayang gagawin ko dito? Pero na-preach na sa pulpito. We just rejected it. Kaya nag-lock tayo ng knowledge nung dumating yung problema po na yun. That's very clear, brethren. Amen. You see? Kaya nga mga kapatid, nagkakaroon tayo ngayon ng trouble how to surpass the problem. Bakit? Alam na sana natin yung knowledge ng Diyos, how to surpass the problem, but when that knowledge was being given to us, we rejected it. Paano natin ni-reject? Hindi natin ni-reject na, hmm, ayoko niyan. Hindi. Binawasan natin. Binawasan natin. Mga kapatid, nasusulat sa Biblia, nakasalanan ang magdagdag at magbawa sa salita ng Diyos. You see? Kaya ako po sinasabi yan sa bawat isa po sa atin because tayo lang po dalawa ng Diyos ang nakakaalam. Tayo lang po dalawa ng Diyos ang nakakaalam ng sitwasyon po natin ngayon. Sa bawat fathers that are with us tonight, tayo lang dalawa ng Diyos ang nakakaalam. Sa bawat mga mothers, kayo lang po dalawa ng Diyos ang nakakaalam. Ang totoo mga kapatid, at the end, bagamat may, may, may magkasama tayo, ang mag-asawa ay magkasama, pero sabi ko nga po, still mga kapatid, sa dulo, isa-isa tayong mananagot sa harap ng Diyos. Hindi sasagutin ng asawang lalaki, ang asawang babae, the same thing din sinasabi ko sa mga young people, hindi kayo sasagutin ng mga magulang ninyo. Tatayo tayo individually sa harap ng Diyos. Kaya nga at the end of the day, it's just between God and us individually. Let's check ourselves and let's be honest with God tonight. Kamusta tayo pagdating sa knowledge ng Diyos? Are we, we know kung anong attitude meron tayo. Every time we're receiving the Word of God through this pulpit, alam natin kung anong attitude meron tayo. Alam natin kung negative tayo sa tinatanggap natin. Alam natin ang katotohanan kung masaya tayong tinatanggap ang knowledge ng Diyos. Alam natin na kahit na tinatamahan tayo sa katotohanan ng knowledge ng Diyos, masaya pa rin natin tinatanggap. Or negatively tinatanggap natin. Pero again, like I said, Tayo lang dalawa ng Diyos nakakaalam niyan. Let's make business with God, brethren. It's just between us and God. We are so blessed to be in a church family. To be in a CSI family. Kasama natin ngayon yung mga missions mo natin. Lahat tayo. We are so blessed 
to be in a position na kung saan maliwanag na naihahatid sa atin ang knowledge of God. The knowledge of truth is being taught to us clearly, is spiritually, intellectually, and biblically maliwanag natin tinatanggap ang knowledge ng Diyos. Mga kapatid, let's not reject the Word of God. Huwag nawa tayong dumating pa sa pagkakataon that we lack knowledge of God. Para malaman natin yan, siya sa atin natin sarili, baka may inuumit tayo sa knowledge ng Diyos. The reason why I'm, rev- why, why I'm giving you that again is because by omitting, by omitting something from the Word of God, it's omitting from the knowledge of God. Bakit? Hindi dito ang knowledge ng Diyos. Hindi natin mahanap sa ibang libro. Dito lang. Hindi natin makukuha sa sekular, sa mundo. Hindi. Dito lang. Kaya nga mga kapatid, Let's encourage our family fathers. Let's encourage our let, let's encourage one another sa ating mga areas. Encourage ourselves as a church family. Let's not reject the knowledge of brother. Let's be grateful. Let's be thankful. Let's always have that spirit of joyfulness na tinatanggap natin ng ma- maayos buo ang knowledge ng Diyos. But again, brethren, like I said, at the end of the day, it's just between us and God. Let's make business with God. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you once again, O God. Sa pagkakataon po na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa amin. Maraming salamat, O Diyos, na sa oras po na ito, ay patuloy niyo pong ibinibigay po sa amin, Panginoon, ang inyong pong knowledge, O God. Thank you once again for imparting to us your knowledge, your wisdom, O God, na kung saan patuloy po namin matututunan, Panginoon, kung paano po namin, Panginoon, i-apply ang inyong pong salita sa buhay po namin. Please, O God, Help us to watch ourselves, to guard ourselves. Baka nag-uumit na po kami. Nagtatanggal, nagbabawas na po kami mula sa inyong salita that contains your knowledge, O God. And by doing that, hindi na po kami nagiging aware that we are rejecting your knowledge. Please, O God, tulungan niyo po kami, pangunahan niyo po kami sa oras po na ito. Let's make business with God. Hilan Diyos sa mga pangyarihan sa lahat. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa oras na ipinagkaloob niyo po sa amin. Once again, O oh God, thank you for imparting your knowledge to us, O oh God. Salamat at muli niyo namang pinakita ang dapat po namin matutunan para po sa aming patuloy na paglago, Panginoon, so that we will be able to come, O oh God, to the knowledge of truth and to grow more, O oh God, sa inyong pong knowledge that will always help us to be in the right path, O oh God. 
Once again, O God, all the glory belongs to you. Thou art great. Thank you once again for the manifestation of your greatness in our lives through our service this evening, O God. All the glory belongs to you, O God. Please heal, hear all the prayers of your children in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope we can shout it out, amen, for the preaching. Amen. Amen, amen. amen. All right, let's go back to our seats. And